We have to adapt uh, to different environments within the safety rover or ambulance. So we have to learn it quickly so that we can apply it safely. Horrors will be a huge wow because we see how they're able to actually utilize their resources very well and adding more compartments so that we can we know where to put the hardments, the IV needles and more. So it's, it's a very good utility of resources basically. Combat phase has started. It's been definitely quite challenging and shag. Uh. They will learn to drag uh, and lift casualties out of the battlefield. These techniques may seem very intuitive at the start. But actually, uh, when it actually comes down to the actual technique, it's, uh, it involves a lot, of, uh, a lot of skill and it requires actual training to prevent the medics from getting hurt. Today the training was on urban ops, so uh, it's about carrying the casualties in enclosed, uh, enclosed space and uh, by staircases. And what is the first carry you'll be doing will be the piggyback one. The lift landing, okay, you will put your body down. After that, you you will you can swap over and do a fireman carry. When um, building is being hijacked. The lifts won't be working, so I have to evacuate the casualties by stairs and there will be a lot of turning and manoeuvring. Out in the field, we can turn and move around freely, but in these enclosed places, we have to take care of the casualty safety as well as our safety. Yeah, I mean, you also, I mean, you are struggling a bit, right? How is it for you? No, no, you it's okay, it's just, it's just taking the steps. It's, if you are up and comfortable, then I can you not that heavy, eh? You're also not that heavy, I thought you were harder. I think for me the main key takeaway will be is definitely teamwork because due to teamwork we can actually evacuate even faster so that we won't give up to save that person's life. It's a combination of two different groups for this uh, route march this time round. 
And then the key takeaway is basically for the whole specs is that um, how we're able to become better leaders and also in a way show our higher morale to our fellow men that's behind us. When we are all retired really and really shy, from there we can judge on who we can trust and how we can help each other out to really complete the whole 8km road march because it's definitely very challenging with our instructors putting additional pressure and expectation on all of us. Don't leave your water tube lying around. People step on your water tube. The mouthpiece crack. You complain. I cannot drink water. Put spots. Never take out equipment. Expect equipment take out of you. Hell no. I, I suffered uh, an injury on my left knee. And then despite that, um, I still continue with a lesser load so that it won't really injure my knee even further. What I want to continue is basically to really feel the the tightness with the whole uh, course itself. With all our songs that combine, all the craziness of the whole family, it's very exciting to show to the men that we can do it, so so can you. Spectors, tomorrow night's out, you know what to do. Most of us have really like used to spend our energy on the training earlier in the day. This route march uh, is slightly more difficult because the calf is in pain from this and drag that we've done in the previous few days. And seeing that how we are able to push one another through because of the cheers and the songs that we sang, I feel that it's very motivational. Okay, the casualty collapsed during its deployment. That's the only thing that happened.